Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story, another crazy story. So earlier we were talking about, in my last video, we were talking about the four-day work week. Yes, the four-day work week, you get three days off. But after careful consideration, I thought about it. Suppose instead of a four-day work week, three days off, which everyone is pushing for right now, how about the 12-day work week? seven days a week and you get the following week off so basically you work seven days a week seven days a week 12 hour days then you get the following week off and then you go back to work the following week for seven um, 12 hour days seven days a week then you get the following week off not only is that more hours you'd be working for the month, but in my opinion, you probably get more time off also. Think about that. You're working more hours and you get more time off at the same time. <clears throat> Think about it. Are you really? 14 days off in one month? Work 14 days? On an average week, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight days off a month. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight days off a month. This way, you get 14 days off a month and you will be working more hours. We saw the math 84 hours in one week. Post to 160. Well, you know what I mean. 160 doing 40 hour weeks. Here we go, here we go. So you see the math. 12 hour days times seven times seven. 84 and we do our now we're going to do our 40 hour days okay times 5 okay see the difference what would you rather let me know what would you rather what would you rather do yes it gets very complicated it gets very complicated because but that's what I'd rather. Also, I'll do another video how we can break it down even more. Meaning, I thought about it. I thought about, I thought about the 16 hour days times five. 16 times five will actually give you even more hours through the calculation. So we're doing 16 times five twice a month we get these hours right here so as you can see there's other ways you can do it but me rather I'm trying to focus on the one week work and one week off one week work one week off work seven days 12 hour shifts the following week off let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Also, when you guys get a chance, go check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Also, go check out my other six four day work week video when you get a chance. Also, this won't be a long video. Just something to think about. Something to think about. Just something to think. Yeah, everything's. Is hypothetical what I'm saying, guys. All may believe fairy tale, fairy tale world, fairy tale world. But we were just thinking about focusing on how to maximize um, time off, along with maximizing working at the same time. 
And I believe that right there was a good idea. Seven day work week, 12 hour days. And then you get the week off. Of course it will get complicated meaning there's a lot of things you won't be able to do during the daytime, especially if you're working from what, 7 p.m., 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You could probably get home from work, go to the gym, do some things and come home back to it. Or you could work the 8 to 8, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Or you could work the 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I said it's a lot of work for that one week, as you can see. But people do it every day normally right now but you get the following week off you get to relax for one full week after that so let me know what you guys think well which one would you guys rather because it seems like things will change for certain it won't be the same five days work week anymore and i've also noticed like i did in my last video almost every country does almost a 40 hour work week give or take a few hours that's unbelievable that there's no countries right now who's doing 20 hour work weeks or 10 hour work weeks or 25 hour work weeks. So if you think about it, everything's kind of the same in a sense in different countries, but here's a big difference. Here's a big difference. You can't say that in a sense. You can't say that, you can't say that. You can't say that. <clears throat> Our next video, we will get more in debt, more in debt. But there's some individuals who's doing a 40 hour work week and they're bringing, um, they're making about $4.35 a day. Haiti, for example, that's what I, that's what I saw. $4.35 a day. And that's at the 40 hour work week. Um, Let's focus on topic. Let's focus on topic. Let's focus on the topic. Let's focus on topic. Well, yeah, let's get back. Let's focus on the topic. So, two days, seven days working, seven days off. As I said, don't forget, it's all fictional. It's just an idea, just a thought. I don't believe it will happen anytime soon or if ever, but I think that'd be pretty cool. Also, also, I don't believe the four day work day will happen anytime soon. For most countries until maybe, maybe 60, 70 years down the road, if I were to take a guess. So don't don't forget guys, you guys can just keep on working five day work weeks until then, instead of four. Or you could think about the seven and just think about it. Just think about it. As I said, more hours you will work um, you work more hours, so you're getting 14 days off a month instead of just eight days off a month, and you're working more hours. So, could be a win win situation for certain people, it will be for me at least. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and also let me know what type of videos that you guys would probably want me to do. Um, on my opinions on certain things because everyone they said have different opinions so no one's two persons the same here we go here we go so i do that right there i come up with my own topic but if you guys want to suggest something you can do that also you can do that also so the four day work week three days off i believe they say 10 hour days 10 hour days 10 hour days. 10 hour days, yeah, 10 hour days. 
Here we go, here we go. What would hours be for 10 hour days? Would it be six in the morning until um, six, seven, six to six is 12, six to four, six to four. Those are not bad hours. Six to four. Six a.m. to four p.m. Six is that is that is that ten hours? Yeah, it has. Yeah, six to six. It'd be twelve hours. Six to four. It'd be ten hours. Those are not bad hours. Six to four. Hmm. Huh. Those are not bad hours at all. You could enjoy the rest of the day. Something to think about. Three days off? Hmm. Which one would be better? Three days off. Working six to four. Opposed to working seven days. We work in seven to seven. And a week off. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is. Don't forget entertainment purposes, entertainment purposes. Also, on my on my next video, what I will do, what I will do, I will get into the pros and the cons of working the twelve hour days. The twelve hour days, I'll tell you the pros and the cons of my opinion. You know there's a pro and there's a con and everything. And I'll tell you what I believe the pros of the con would be. I would do it in this video. I would do it in this video. Well, let's start on it. Let's start on it. What's the pros? The pros, you know, you get seven days off. What else? What else? Um, You could take a vacation once a week around the world for four. For three days at a time, four days at a time, I believe. So that's a that's a good thing. Because you could actually say you were to go to a different location every week. Every week. Visit a different location every week. So I believe maybe you'll be um more willing to want to go work the, the 12 hour days, seven days, just cause you know the, in a few days from that, you're gonna be somewhere for four or five days enjoying, relaxing, and enjoying yourself. That's if you have a not a lot of responsibilities. Um, But if you do have a lot of responsibilities, maybe you have children and stuff like that, it could be a little bit more complicated. Well, not complicated, it could just be a different approach on handling the situation a different approach on handling the situation you know for example you could have um child care where you pay one week and you don't pay the following week so i guess you could save money that way that you would have used you could take that money to go on a vacation with it for example um you'd be able to around your children more often that's a certain um um um, you could do more more um more things during the daytime that you wouldn't be able to do because you're at work um every day every day except for your two days off that could be on weird days so there's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons about it but we could keep on going we could keep on going but we're gonna stay on this topic for a while we're gonna stay on this topic for a while and hopefully we get a chance to hit all angles or a lot of different angles we're going to do about 10 videos about this particular topic. About 10 videos about this particular topic. And then we're going to move on to something else. Because we're going to try to figure out what would be best. What would be best. Don't forget this only for entertainment purposes. Um, fictional, made up, made believe, imaginary world, cartoon type of thing. Here we go. Here we go. Tell a friend, tell a friend, F-Service TV. F-Service TV. Um, so let's go, let's go, let's go. So we have the four day work week, three days off, but we have the seven day work week, one week off. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would like best.
also go check out my other videos and I will be going live in a few hours. So I go try to go live at least once every other day from now on. Here we go, here we go. F Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend.